Hey, I'm Valerian. Uh, I'm the founder of the Denkigami. So, uh, what are we looking at here? Uh, we're looking at small electronic paper toys for children. So, kind of origami style. Kids can pop out the characters, add very basic components to the things, and then they, each of the characters can do very nice and individual things, like lighting up a little RGB LED, or this one has a uh, light sensor inside. So whenever light hits the sensor, the little motor inside starts to shake, and move the little, the little, wow. little, little thing around, like this. Yeah, and it's meant for children to um, learn actually the basics of electronics without making them afraid of the technology. Wow, is this shipping? Not yet, not yet. Not, not yet? yet. Not so, yet. what's going on here? Do you have lots of different or it's just the yeah. same mostly? We printed a lot of them in different colors and um, on paper so that the ideal moment kids can choose whatever color they like. So it's for everyone. Is something. the LED already on it or you have to add stuff? No, you have to add it. You have to add it by hand. How do you how do? You do? Um, it's very simple. You, um, I mean, not a perfect example, but here you just putting them through the paper. I can show you actually on the camera if you like. Yeah. Yeah, wait a second. So here you have the LED that comes in the package. Exactly. Has little pins. And then you basically just fold the paper and then you can push through the, the little... The holes are already made? They're already made, yeah. In the next version they will be bigger so it's way easier. Because <laughs> right now it's quite... It's still a little bit complicated. But that's okay, it needs to be a little challenge, you know? You yeah, can't exactly, just uh, exactly. have it be too easy because then the kids, you know, <laughs> you play, go play another game. Exactly, it needs to be a challenge. You have to get them all at the same time for it to work? Uh, two is enough actually, but I will try to put them in at once. Yeah. So you push that one in. So then you have to make the example, and this is actually enough for to work for this kind of circuit. So you don't need to glue anything. You can remove the parts again, use it for another, another next project. And how? Where's the battery go? The battery goes here. And you have one? Yes, I have one. Well, it's the same, no glue, nothing. You just push in the battery, connect the plus and minus. And then there's like um, a trigger? Yeah, so the circuit goes here and it's at here at this point not connected, but when you connect it, the LED goes on. The wow. same. And this, yeah. So. And the other one? Is it a different color or is it the same? Yeah, this is a different color, right? Oh, nice. It's good. Maybe not so nice visible. And uh, is there a way for the kids to put it like tightly onto the thing or...? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't put like soldering? You don't need to solder, no. no. You just do scotch yes. tape maybe or something? You can use the Cooper tape or aluminum tape, sometimes it works. But normally, or it's in the best case, when we have the, dog, the, the product ready, we will have it like this that you don't need to solder anything. There's no glue, nothing. You just can put them inside, take them out again, use them for the next project. Nice. Are they all? Can you show a little bit? Are they different? Uh, different. Similar ones or different ones? These are uh, different colors. One version. This is the other version. And what's the limit? Is the imagination? <laughs> yes. Of how, how, do you have ideas from lots of stuff? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, this is just a free we had we made for the workshop, which had the title of the energy production and so every each of the animals is connected to an animal which um, produces or sensing electricity so there's the firefly there's the electric eel there's the platybus and of course you can uh, extend the, the uh, production line infinite. and you, you, you these are active right now mm -hmm. so, so you yeah. have to touch both oh could you uh, the kids can you make them program something 
Do you run software? Not yet. I mean, you could because here's a place for a little chip, and you could technically program the chip. But this is not the focus of this this um, project because it's meant to make them uh, learn a bit about electronics before they're touching platforms like Arduino or Kali Opel. So, but you could potentially some kind of way to you know you draw something and it's like programming. Yeah. Is that too difficult? That you need cool. a special pen, yeah. right? If you draw a special thing, maybe if you have like ready-made so circuits and you just draw a few, then it's, you can program. Yeah, sure. Is it gonna be like a book full of these? How's it gonna work? It was one of the ideas. Right now, we want to have this standalone version, so you get that you get kind of a package or an envelope with uh, one of the Denkigamis inside with all the components for some certain price and then you buy it and you can put it together and then you collect all of them step by step. Uh, what's going to be the price? Is it possible you can include this with like a popular kid uh, children's uh, magazine uh, as no. a promotion? It depends because now it's a really high quality print. It's screen printed from hand. It's really nice paper. So now one piece is around 10, between 10 and 15 euros. So That's okay. One would be. I don't know if you can put it in a Mickey Mouse magazine or next book, but it needs to be a special one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like the so. VIP Mickey Mouse. Yeah. All right. Good. Idea. Cool. All right. So <laughs> there you have it. Uh, people can find you right here. Denkigami. What's the idea about this name? Denkigami is Japanese for electronic paper. You know origami. Nice. Yeah. It's foldable paper, and Denki is electronic. So. Cool.